We're Boyo, we're rocking with high visions. I'm Rob. Hey, I'm Gabe. I'm Hudson. We're Boyo. We're from Los Angeles, California. Uh, what made me want to get into music is um, listening to music <laughs> with my siblings when I was uh, little. Same here. My brother, older brother, gave me a lot of CDs when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, just play. Um, yeah, we. I, I grew up around a lot of like my brother and dad played guitar, and. Um, yeah, I just loved loved music. I don't really remember not wanting to play music. I think it was like always something I wanted to do. Uh, I don't really come from a musical family or anything. I think when I was in like fifth grade, my sister, who's a couple years older than me, was like, oh, being in a band would be cool. So she got a bass and then gave it up immediately. And I was like, my sister did it, so it must be cool. And that's pretty much what got me into music. First and foremost, we live together, all together in Los Angeles. So that's that. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a, I, don't know, I can, I can, I don't know, I want to speak for all of us, but I feel like it's a big city, but I feel like you can also have a very isolated experience and also a cultural experience and a communal experience, but I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it was just kind of, especially, I think it was before the pandemic, I don't remember when it came out, but it was just like, felt like an interesting time, kind of a lonely time, but also, uh <clears throat> Yeah, it's LA is also huge. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know if I'm answering your question, but yeah, I just had these songs. And yeah. So you guys wrote them all like during the pandemic? Hmm. Probably did. Well, yeah. I mean, oh yeah, I guess it did come out during the pandemic. So they were just like, yeah, they were just on on the computer, and there were songs that uh, that that I liked and that were cool, and put we put them out. Yeah. So basically, it's like. I grew up with a family of like writers, and my dad's a comedy writer, so he knows uh, Jason Alexander. I obviously would not be able to get that fellow, um, and yeah, and he's a very kind individual, and was just wanted. He was just kind of like, um, if you ever want me to like direct or help with a video or something, you know, he's just kind of always been really supportive. And I was, and then I kind of came up with this idea with my friend Nathan, who is a really great video director and then yeah we shot it and it was super super fun goofy goofy video it's actually not released yet man this is going to be such a redundant answer but probably one that also has not been released <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. what about you Rob? it's different for each of them like uh there's this crazy song that gosh the i think it's called What's the song with, that we did where like you're doing the crazy beat? It's like, oh. uh, <laughs> out. I forget what it's called. <laughs> Shit. Um, we made a crazy song. It's on an EP. I think that's like the first song on the You and Me EP, and like we recorded it and Gabe. It just like Gabe just like went off and was doing like a crazy drum beat, and. It just like made the song cool. It was like a pretty boring song until the drums were on it. Yeah. Um, I love that song, but I'm sorry we don't know. The name. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, we'll track, find it. it's track one on the you and me. We'll comment on the. On the mm -hmm. I just wanted to add one thing. Uh, the the song days. Oh wow. On Rob's first album is I think our my favorite song that we've made together. I mean collaborating with, with these two. Yeah. I mean. Okay. The, <laughs> uh, it's true. It's not like it's just like these guys are favorite people to play music with I would you know so I'm lucky anytime we record and it's become a lot more of a collaborative project so sorry I sound gross um <laughs> so yeah so it just that's I get more gratification out of making music yeah. I think with them than I do alone so yeah I think that's that's the crux of it yeah so I, yeah everything we've made recently that's why we all say unreleased because it's a lot of stuff that's just kind of in the the old oven you know well, we've all played here before, so let's start with uh, Gabriel. Um, I love the Holland Project because um, it's a really special place, and they really care about music and bands and artists, and it feels like coming to a place that's already just like happening, going on. It's a it's a party here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, I second that. I love I love uh, the community. The 
people that work here people that come here just like the vibe is awesome it's a DIY venue and it's uh, just awesome it's just like really fun to play and it's also just like you know like there's a lot of venues get really corporate and weird and kind of strange so it's like this is just the antithesis of that and it's like you know com community run and, and it just feels great yeah same <laughs> um know that every time I've played here everyone's just been like so stoked to be here and just like people go wild and everyone's just like excited about watching music which is kind of like the best thing that the culture of a venue can have just everyone's excited to just be there and it's not like there's like no ego here which is great because god damn there are so many venues with such a toxic culture surrounding them and this is not one of them are you wowed, Gabe? Yes, <laughs> I'm wowed. We've all had, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I was just trying to, it was, I wrote it, I mean, I'd, it wasn't really written about anybody because I wrote that chorus when I was like 13 and then Gabe and myself wrote and arranged the rest of that. So, um, yeah, I think I was writing it about like a hypothetical thing, like yeah. the chorus, like just the lyrics, the words, and then we did the music. So. Yeah, it's just about, I think, the idea of, like, loving somebody, but they also kind of freak you the hell out, and they do stuff that maybe you don't necessarily agree with, but maybe that's what love is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 13-year-old me didn't know very much. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all kind of, we all kind of, we all kind of bleed into each other's tastes, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I feel like we show each other stuff. Like, I listen to a lot of early 2000s music. I feel like Gabe listens to a lot of like really cool like neo soul stuff. It's really rad. Hudson, the other day I was listening to a lot of like hyper pop stuff. <laughs> so I feel like it, it's, yeah, it's everything kind of that bleeds in. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. It's it's a it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. whole uh, soup uh, souffle. Hopefully more of this, more playing shows and music yeah. and. Yeah, collaboration and just like, you know, do it. Like, hopefully, just keep on chugging. You know, yeah. that's what I hope. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a wonderful show right now. Oh, thank, thank you so much. And you guys have a blessed road trip too when you guys go on tour. Oh, you guys thank, thank you. you. And thank you guys so much for your time. Thank you. Thank yeah, you thank too. You. Thanks for talking. Thanks for talking.